Doctrine is defined as an organized, orderly set of teachings to produce a desired result. Indeed, we all live by doctrine, whether we admit it or not. There are three types of doctrine, the doctrine of man, the doctrine of Satan, and the doctrine of God. Our first man is Lamont. He is following the doctrine of man. Ideally, he has no doctrine for life. He follows whatever his mother tells him. His mother is overwhelmed because it is obvious that Lamont needs a positive male leading figure in his life, and there is none in sight. She has no husband, no spiritual leader, and no head. Therefore, her advice becomes detrimental to his life. Lamont is told by his mother he needs to help with the bills, so he leans to his own understanding and does what he thinks is best. He's doing well, according to his thinking, getting fast money, helping his mother with the bills, and getting some fresh clothes in the process. By his determination, he is doing what he thinks is best. He is leaning to his own understanding and going down the path of destruction. Lack of good knowledge is clearly going to be his downfall. Not only is he in the wrong place, doing the wrong thing, but he's negotiating with the wrong person, for his customer is actually a plain clothes cop. The cop arrests Lamont. His life is beginning to deteriorate because of his doctrine or lack thereof. Our next man is James. He is following the doctrine of Satan. From his outward appearance, you cannot tell which doctrine is in operation. He's well-dressed and is considered an upstanding man in his community. But his actions speak louder than his words. His every decision is predicated on women and sex. While his female boss is correcting him for his misconduct, he is attempting to hit on her and is undressing her with his eyes. James just crossed the line. His advances on his female boss are against company policy. Unfortunately, his mindset, which is bred in his doctrine, turns every situation involving women into sex. He is unwilling to change since he believes he is only doing what is in his nature. He is a man after all. Now his work is diminished because of his behavior and his boss is pursuing legal action. Soon, he is relieved of his duties for lack of production and has a sexual harassment lawsuit pending. Our last man is Abe. He is a follower of the Apostles' Doctrine, also known as the Doctrine of God. He is constantly in prayer and teaches his family the same. He is successful at work, he is successful in his social life, and he is successful at home. He knows that he is a man created in the image and likeness of God. Abe teaches his family to be positive-minded. He leads by example, displaying the seven attitudes of a successful Christian. Joy and peace are evident in his house because his love of God is great. Every night before the kids go to bed, Abe has the children recite the teachings of the Apostles' Doctrine from that very week. This week, the teachings were on the 13 values of the Universal Calvary Church. When they get it right, they celebrate with treats or dessert. Abe follows one simple principle above all. If you know the Apostles' Doctrine, you will be happy and blessed if you do it. The similarities between those who follow the doctrine of man, like Lamont, those who follow the doctrine of Satan, like James, are eerily not much different. They both lead a life that will end in heartache, constant trouble, and eventual death. The man with the apostle's doctrine is successful in all seven areas of his life. Why you ask? Because the doctrine he follows keeps him alive, 
keeps him out of trouble and keeps him with the true and living God who makes a way out of no way for you to truly be successful. This is why the CMM have chosen to be men of the Apostles' Doctrine. Amen.